Yes. Welcome back to a new tutorial on my channel. Today we are going to discuss the bubble sort algorithm. We first of all see how does it work in theory and then of course I will show you the practical way how to implement this. First of all, let us have an array with the numbers 9, 4, 2 and 1. You can clearly see it isn't sorted. So how does the algorithm now sort this type of array? It first of all check the first index with the second index. And it now looks if is the first index greater than the second index, then it will swap it with each other. And in this case 9 is greater than 4, so we swap the 9 with the 4, so now we have 4 and 9. Now if we check if the 9 is greater than the 2, yes it is, now we swap the 9 with the 2. Now if we check if the 9 is greater than the 10, no it isn't, so we don't swap it. Now that we reach the end of the array, we don't care about the end anymore, because uh, we now uh, can clearly say that the last number of the array is the biggest number, so we don't need to look it up anymore so we save some performance in this algorithm now we now we watch if the 4 is greater than the 2 yes it is we swap it is the 4 greater than the 9 no it isn't we don't swap it now it was now that we don't know that we reach the end in the second round that's round 2 we don't care about the 9 anymore because we know okay the 9 is now the the 9 is clearly sorted so we this algorithm based on that we say okay the last numbers are sorted and we don't care about them anymore now we just watch those numbers who are left and we see is it 2 greater than the 4 no it isn't so we don't care anymore about this number here here needs to be a 2 it's my bad but um, the algorithm terminates or break up when every where when every every array part of the array we say clearly okay the length got reduced so we reduce the length of the array because that's the, that's our sorted parts and if we reach this we will stop it and how it's done in java you will now see so after i described you the theoretical part of the bubble sort algorithm i want to show you how to make the practical part so you can see this checkbox if we click it we get the main method done automatically that's very nice and let's instantiate a new array an int array and this int array should have this uh, this 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 amount of numbers okay let us do it so we got the int array a very cool part um, from the arrays class this array class which is from the java from the java library itself uh, normally we would do a for loop and then we get all those numbers printed out but we can do just easily this arrays dot and then we say to string and then we do then we insert a, as a parameter our array we run that program and we get our array in the console very nice so we can see what the array was and what the array got after the sorting so we saw in the presentation that we need a function to swap numbers in the array 
so that we can for example if we check two and one we can swap the one with the two because the one is smaller than the two and we're gonna program that function we're gonna call it swap and it should get as a parameter the array the first index and the second no problem then we save the we save in the int array at the index one so we save the two as a variable we want so we save it and then we save the one as a separate variable and we do this now how to swap it very easily we just say at the array at the position one we insert the value that we saved in the variable that was in the position two and we do this for the position two with the value one now we gonna swap the array with the first and the second one let us print it out and we see we swap the one with the two so our swap function is working now comes the funny part we gonna implement the bubble sort function static void bubble sort and the function just need the array which is very nice so how we want to do this first of all we want to save the length of the whole array a dot length as a variable why i will show you in a second because we're gonna make a for a while loop which sees if the length is greater as zero so after every operation our length would be uh would be minus 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 is just minus equals one so we we decrease the size of the length because every time we go through the array and swap the last the last array uh, the last the last number we don't need it because we swapped it already that's that's the main function of the bubble sort so after the first round the eight we don't care after the second round the nine and the eight we don't care anymore and so so on and so on that means we then need a for loop every time we have an around we swap all all of the array as far as the length is and that's why we make a for loop and in this for loop we first of all then we want to see okay a if a and the position i so if the if the two is greater than the i plus one then the one what will happen we want to swap the position i with the position i plus one that's it so but now if we make our program it will throw an error why it throws an array index out of bounds exception because the i plus one we didn't check if if it if it exceeded the limit of the data's in array because what if the i is at position eight and we are trying to get the data after the eight but there isn't data 
data. Data. I'm saying data. <laughs> yeah, but there isn't data. So we need to check if i plus one is less than length. That's it. We need this and this. Now we make it and look at this one two four five six seven eight nine it got sorted perfectly now a very fun fact after this whole theory and practice we made the sorting algorithms but we could just easily make arrays.sort and give it a and now it got sorted as well <laughs> But where's the fun if we don't make a sorting algorithm on our own? So thanks for watching and I hope you learned something. Goodbye.